No crackers, please. That's what the parrot's saying. Welcome. I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This one is of the AOME Exchange. It's in Burlington. They say it's a curated thrift. They will purchase your clothing from you if they're willing to take it on at all. And here we are. The women's is upstairs. You'll see a sign shortly. It's in the stairwell. Upstairs, women, girls, selling, buying, and trades, cashier, boys, men. And I think there's a section where they have their, I guess, markdowns. <clears throat> I think there's a markdown rack upstairs as well. So here we are. <clears throat> We're headed into the lower level. I guess you'd call it a basement. And as I've been here once before, I had already oriented my, orientated myself and this area has the Hawaiian shirts. There's more than one. They're very nice. They have, uh, you'll see the brand, uh, the labels that are on them. So if that helps you determine whether or not they're fulfill your level of Hawaiian shirt, that's um, why I try to show the labels. I didn't say I have all of the labels shown, but I have most of the ones that I thought were at least good prospects. And some of them I know are not, but that's a separate issue. <clears throat> I wanted to show uh, a variety of different ones. For example, this one. This is the one I started with. Paradise Found, brand name, and it's 22. Now this one, I didn't, I don't remember if it said it was made in Hawaii. Sometimes they're designed in Hawaii and made somewhere else. Weekender, it's a good brand name. And it's at 1850. Not out of line for Hawaiian shirts overall, I must say. I think that's Calibrate, it's a nice floral, and uh, it's at 14. So there's a, there's a range of prices. Um, I'm, what I can say is that they're probably a little better than vintage shops, uh, a bit more than your big chain um, thrift stores. Although there's one chain that's headed for these kind of prices, if not beyond sadly enough so that's why I do these tours so you can see that there are other places other than some of the big brands Zara man that that's from a chain that's a quite uh, an international one 14 didn't say it's bad it's just that it may not fulfill the qualification of being Hawaiian made Hawaiian fabrics so on and so forth do like them that some of these are long sleeve versions that could have been used potentially as a business type Hawaiian shirt so it's not to say that there is no purpose for some of these here we are into the infants and children's clothing that was is also downstairs so you you do see a, a good selection they're sorted they're clean they're maintained on a, on a regular basis. So well worth the trip, in my opinion. As we go upstairs in a few moments, <clears throat> we'll see a portion of the women's. There isn't much need for me to go into the women's area uh, of, because of the way they uh, s set up the store. So there's no need to be mixing. 
I do walk around the stairwell that will give you a reasonable concept of what they have. They've got, uh, they are using the concept of using the shelf above the, the, uh, the racks. This one happens to have hand, uh, handbags. Others had boots and shoes, as you can see. So you're uh, quite quite into a nice, nicely laid out store, reasonable prices. You don't have to go searching all through all kinds of stuff. They have removed some of the search for you. So I think you'll enjoy it. It's right opposite a major mall and uh, usually there's enough parking. It's not the largest set of parking and it can be a little awkward to get into. You must be traveling southbound on the street. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'd appreciate a subscribe, perhaps even a like, and maybe even uh, you mark yourself uh, on the bell so you get notified of the next one. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.